Hi everyone, alongside Mike Trossel, I'm Dave Giancola, and thanks for joining us for another episode of U.S. Women's Open Classic Finishes. Well, with a budding fan favorite, an incredible international leaderboard, and a 17-year-old looking to make history, the stage was set for a Sunday to remember at the 2017 U.S. Women's Open, and Mike, it didn't disappoint. Yeah, Dave, Korea's Hei Jin Choi was trying to become not only the youngest Women's Open champion in history, but also the first amateur to win the title since 1967 while 54-hole leader Shan Shan Fong of China was proving to be as entertaining on the course as she was with the media. And then there was Sung Hung Park of Korea, who fell just short at Cordoval in 2016 and was looking for redemption a year later. Add it all up, and it was a final round you did not want to miss. Let's pick up the action on the back nine. This is Sandwich from 94. It's a tucked hole location, but she can use the backstop. That's a massive tee shot. And then there's the advantage of that kind of power. Goodness, what a shot that is. And Paul, she went ahead and took on those bunkers right there, no problem. She'll have that to tie for the lead. Meanwhile, this for par for Fung. Uphill ordinarily a simple putt. And the pressure of this back nine here to win this U.S. Women's Open. Good stroke there. Look at that graphic. She should just tell herself from now on the birdie putts are for par. Because her par stroke is perfect. Joe Buck, sports psychologist, folks. Well, hey, it's true because truthfully, it, there is can be a difference. I mean, it's like a hurdle to get over mentally. The, the difference in a birdie putt and a par putt. And I think everybody that watches knows what, what, what I'm talking about. And there's no different for a player at a high level. If you miss birdie putts, you, you start to get psychological about it. You bury the par putts. Show her tap in. Choi is looking to become the second amateur to win the U.S. Women's Open. Of course, Catherine Lacoste pulled off the feet back in 1967. Joe? Here's Shen Chen Fung at 12 with a tee shot, our co-leader. And Hedjin Choi, who is about to tee off here at the 12th, had to win a qualifier in Korea for only the one spot available to get into this U.S. Women's Open, and here she is. Tied for the lead. Short par four, 12. <laughs> and going with the driver. So this hole really bottlenecks up at 260 yards. So she's taking that narrow gap on. Not, not necessary. Oh boy, that makes a big difference. Shooting up the hill to a tucked pin from the rough. Over on 13, this is Hughes' second shot. Brad, that's kind of a divot and a mud ball. And that's had it left. Oh. Watch where this ball ends up. It's going to miss another divot party down there. She has that huge closely mown slope to battle up against. This for a share of the lead for Park. Nine under. Three tied at the top. With So Yun Yu two shots back, the number one player in the world. Getting fun here at Trump National. We pick it up here with our co leader, Sung Kung Park. Beautiful. Just watch this golf swing. Beautiful dog leg left here, Natalie. She's got to lose sight of this golf ball to keep it in the fairway, and that's a gorgeous line. Position A, too. Perfect. She's coming in, so well. Coming in here with the short iron is such an advantage right here, especially with that hole location. She buried this hole yesterday, looking to get back to back. 11 total. 1 to 9. 11. Now, Shen Shen at 12. How many from the left? Uh, it's only three from the right. And small carry too, right? Yes. Yeah, so plenty just right of it. No left to right. Yep. 
to Martin slightly helping Brisbane 108 and just the pin is so tight to the left side even if you carry it on the line of the pin it's going to kick on so favoring the right of the pin gap wedge there is a bank behind the flag that you can bump the ball into too very difficult to get close She likes this hole. She's birdied it twice this week. Good look here. This is the third shot of you in 13. We saw her second end up down here after driving into a divot. This is an impossible shot. Unless you're, unless you're you. What a play. Banged it into that hillside. That's like a bank on turn three. Probably why she's not our number one player in the world. Now back to 12 second <laughs> shot for co-leader Choi. Oh my, this is not easy. On the line she's coming in from, she's got 99 to the front and the flag's just four over the trap. Landing on the down slot, coming out of the rough. Doesn't want to be greedy here. Set. Set. Did exactly what she needed to do, Ken. Here's Lee's putt for par on 13 playing alongside you you see her coin desperately needs this putt stay within two got out of position on the tee off the tee we know how deadly that can be on this 13th hole two bogeys for Lee to start this final nine three shot back now. Up on 17, this is Say Young Kim for birdie. That puts her to five under. Great play, buddy. That's a good looking golf swing right there. Now on 13, you for an incredible up and down and par. Brad, she's wearing shoes that say, I love golf, and I'd love golf a lot too if I had chip shots like that. Take skill and nerve to do what she just did. And Thanks. Beautiful stroke to finish up that hole. Bad break off the tee, landing into that divot. And you only two back. The world's number one player and a fist bump. She could get three or four fist bumps. Here's the number one players so far this season. We saw Lydia Ko first 23 weeks. Chitanagarn, two weeks. She missed the cut. And now you. Jung Un Lee for par at 14. Now four back. Back to the green at 12. That was a very high quality approach from Joy there out of the rough. It's exactly what she should have done. And she's left herself a putt. She's like a deacon running back down the slope. She's stuck at the top of the bank. It's going to swing very hard from right to left downhill. Checking how much downhill it is. It's probably the ball is probably two and a half feet higher up than where the hole is cut. Still got a little putter cover sticking out of her back pocket. It's very difficult to get the pace and the line just right with these type of putts because there's, there's such a lot to take into account. It looks like all she has to do is just get it over that first little part there, Ken, and it should just trickle all the way down to the hole. It's one of those ones if you get it slightly wrong on your launch, okay, you can get it miles out when it gets to the cup. But it is mighty quick. Oh. Can you talk about all the that leaderboard is a lot of the Koreans, you know, 1998, Sari Park started the whole sensation win in the open. The Blackwood run, one of the toughest golf course I've ever played. Well, Julie, if we go back to the ninth hole, Choi had a putt for a three-shot lead. 
Now she's tied. But you know, you talk about that. I think Shen Shen's par on nine was just as big. She just hit that manhole cover of a coin that Fong's using. <laughs> Slowed that ball down a good foot or so. Watch this. Look. She actually, she actually moved the coin twice to get it to there. Remember one time I was playing with Mike Donald and asked him to move his coin and ran right over it and drained the putt. He gave me the worst look of all times. <laughs> nice read. It's a moment ago, Collider Park, just 129 yards with a wedge. Stay there, ball. That goes all the way down. Good spin there, like Paul Azinger said before. She has the strength to stop any shot into these greens. A little right to left, yeah. That's kind of what the green. Easy to see it's right to left. It's just how much right to left it is. It doesn't look like a whole lot. No, I mean, the numbers are really small. But I'm still seeing, are these half a cup on? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely outside that hole. Pretty flat. Totally agree, yeah, flat right button. The green plan book suggests it isn't going to turn perhaps as much as your eyes would think. It's such a different effort. Very weak effort on the birdie putts. Much more convicted on the par putts. She's just missed a bucket full of those the last two days. Now here on 14, so you and you. Birdied this hole yesterday. Go. Actually, everything will feed down towards that hole or up towards that hole if you can get it moving. Pretty intimidating from the tee. Now, this would have been a gimme if she would not have hit that coin instead. A little knee knocker, no problem. Still a three-way tie at the top. With Park up ahead on the green at 13. Here she is with this pretty putt to take the lead. Her distance is really this an advantage here. for her this week. She had three clubs less than aiming into this hole and into quite a few of the holes. It just allows her to get close to these pin placements that many players can't. She had a wedge into this hole and leaving herself with a very makeable birdie putt. It's not like Amy Yang is short. Amy Yang's one of our longer hitters on the tour, too. She, you know, her disposition has been the same all day. I played with her three weeks ago in Arkansas for two days. Much. First time I've ever played with her. Was totally impressed. Laid a little 66 on me the first day. Just lost its speed. Good looking effort there. Bad call, my part. We call that an early call, Brad. Exactly right. Dude. It looks so good. Caddy yeah. Mark says good putt there, and that's all you can do. Sometimes you just got to hit good putts. Now back on the tee. Fun to play first. Suits her eye, the little draw, but there is a water hazard left if you happen to overhook it. I'm not seeing anyone do it as yet. She's not going to be able to take on as much as 
Sung Hume Park did. She's going to just aim out of the right side of those trees on your left hand side. Finds the fairway, but that's well, well to the right of where she needed to be. So that'll be a longer shot. Difficult to hold this screen <coughs> that far back. Now choice, Tisha. She's taking a much more acute angle across the corner of the dog leg. This whole dog legs from right to left. Choosing a line. Not quite above Watson off the 13th of Augusta, but that type of thing across the edge of the trees. Discussing her second shot here in the 13. Yeah, yeah, we want to keep it right at this pin. From 183, and his caddy's, a caddy saying keep right at the pin. Four yards to the left, and you get gathered into one of those gathering sluices. Ken, those are strict orders. Keep it right at this flag stick. Yeah, these are strict orders. If you hit it down there, the chances of getting down into it are probably three in ten. Well, the good thing, the last five iron she hit, she hit it about a foot. So she's got good memories. Sit. Straight at it. Soft, soft, soft. Stop. That's the Stop. problem being so far back there. And actually, a good break. It wasn't just a tad bit left. That would have gone all the way down the hill. Uh, it just goes down a little Decent bit Decent chip shot from there. Head down a little low area. Up ahead here at 14, it's Park, co-leader at nine under. Park only hit a sand wedge to 13 while Fung's hitting a five iron. Now it's got to carry that bunker. What a shot. What a shot. Birdied here the last two days. Co leader with a good look at Birdie here at 14. Now Hedge and Choi second shot some 40 yards past Fung's tee ball. Attack flag stick now for her with nine irons. Too cautious out to the right. Yeah, being very respectful of that left hand side there. That's not a bad miss though. And Julie, I think watching Fung's shot had to scare her a little bit. And now up on 15, Young and Lee third shot from this tricky, awkward bunker shot. We saw Fung hit one of the best shots ever, and that matches it. Hard to control that distance. 55 or 60 yards, picked it clean. Now Marina Alex really showing well in her home state from New Jersey. This for par, four under for the championship. Fantastic, she should be so proud. Wayne Hills High School graduate, All-American at Vandy. She's having her best year ever, too, Joe. She's just uh, had a lot of top tens. She's playing very well this year. Low American-born player here this week in the U.S. Women's Open. Now to 15. That's Christy Kerr. Disappointing day, three over par on the round. It's birdie to get her to two. In the easiest hole all week long. And another putt for Kerr slides by. Some of the storylines as we make our way to the stretch run here in this Women's Open. Edge and Choi would be the second amateur and the first since 1967 to win this championship. Shen Shen Feng would be the first wire to wire champion since 1977 and Hollis Stacy and Sung Hyun Park seeking first career major win. Last year just had a rough weekend tied for third in the end two shots out of the playoff in last year's U.S. Women's Open at quarter ball. Oh, pretty straight. Yeah if anything the errors are showing slightly right to left but not a lot. Okay. Arrows meaning 
Green's book showing the break to the right. Now Fung's chip shot. Found a nice lie. It's a little still the tufty bit. Not too difficult to go underneath it, but could be a lot worse. Green book was wrong. I went to the left when it hit. First kick. Up to 15 after Lee's beautiful shot out of the bunker. The birdie to get to six. Looks got like she's got to birdie these, Julie. Yeah, she's got a nice little read from Christy Kerr, too. Just doesn't break as much. Birdie that three days in a row. Six under par. It's a well earned Sandy right there. She won a tournament in the KLPJ Tour this year, shooting 18 under par. So she knows how to shoot low scores and she needs to make three birdies in a row. And now back on 13 green. The amateur chair for birdie. A lot of help from her, her caddy. He was a semi pro. In Korea. He said this putt's going to go a little bit right to left and be quick. <laughs> Might be a good idea to make it. 33 <laughs> feet. Or just two putt. I knew I should have took a language in high school. Look at this! Oh! Puts the brakes on inches before taking the lead again. A nice little wry smile from Troy. There's her card, two birdies going out. That lone bogey on 10. And I'll go up to 14. Park for birdie. Very makeable birdie putt here. She had a beautiful shot. It actually almost went in the hole, just rolled over the right side of the cup. A very well deserved birdie after her shot in. Only two birdies here all day. Let her in. Get out. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh. Ah. To 13. Thumbs par putt. Conscious she doesn't quite swing the putter far enough sometimes. She's five feet here. She does a good job there. The stroke's better when it's a right to left her. Good up and down for Fung to stay in that three way tie at nine under. Especially having to hit that. five iron into that hole. Oh, I wouldn't want to do that. I'm kidding. And it's really kind of become a power versus finesse and it experience versus the unknown here. Fung's the only one that's won a tournament. She's won seven times on the LPJ Tour and a major championship. Choi only 17, the amateur never won before, and Park with all the power, along with Choi, have two par fives that they can maybe take advantage of. So pick your poison here with five holes to go in this championship. Power versus Furness, and really a proven winner versus a couple players that have never won before. And here we go. I think Paul after I think the 16, 17 and 18 are going to be the real test. 16. Right now there's not any win out there but that right hand hole location. 17 is the third hardest hole on the golf course. And then 18 is no gimme with that back right hole location. I agree Julian. Parks out front. Already played this hard hole. Well the max carry is 16 minus 20. 75. Anything a little bit into, yeah. That's your hybrid? Perfect. Yeah, 90 shots fun. How many from left? We have none from none from the left side. 
Okay. Everything's releasing from right to left. Okay. Chung's the finesse. Fung, excuse me, Fung's finesse, but she's got the experience. She knows she can do it. She's done it before. You know, it's not like it's her first rodeo hitting, hitting these rescue clubs and in these screens. She's used to doing this. I mean, this is her game. Par three is pretty dangerous. Now has enjoy. She's got the advantage of me getting some steel on it, a four iron. It's easier really to get a bit more control with a nine than a rescue or a wood. to say she's been very impressive she's flushed so many shots right out the center of the club the only bogey she made can she flushed a five iron on ten That's another good shot pin high part with the power to possibly reach this par five and two guys well, watch, this is going to be as hard as she'll swing today, knowing if she can crush it. One-hander means either off-center or it's going to miss the fairway. Certainly not the result she wanted, but she keeps it in the fairway. Park's third shot here at 15, the par five while we are away. 100 yards, this is where her instructor, Brian Mock, said she needs the most help, the most work. Pin high, but a little push. Tricky little putt down the hill now. Back in the fairway, Fung second. 316 yards. Green out of range, just laying up for a nice pitch. Left. Left. Come on a little bit. Okay. Perfectly yeah, positioned so. now. And boy, Ken. Here at 16, So Yun Yu. Hanging in there with a big par save and a good shot here at the par three. Well, she's out front enough, or maybe if she makes a putt or two, she could post. Now putt. No putt for Birdie to take the lead. She didn't get to play the hole with the exciting way of going for it in two, but played the conventional way and still has a makeable birdie putt. It's going to be very fast. The USGA did a wonderful job with these pin placements, so if you play it the smart way, you have a lot of downhill putts today. Well, she's got to be a little disappointed with her length, not having a little closer birdie putt on the easiest hole location. But she's I like that. Done everything she's needed to do. She said fairways, she said greens, she said birdie opportunities. And she's hit some good putts, Julie. This one from 20 feet. Sometimes when you're nervous, a downhill putt's not the worst thing in the world to have. Her first birdie on the 15 all week. Good time to do it. That was a huge putt. Especially with your group behind you watching. Is that a way to tell them I'm I'm here. Look at me. Outright leader. At 16, the birdie try for So Young Yu. Just going to move ever so slightly to her right. If you remember a day ago, she knocked the flag down here at the 16th, wasn't able to get just a short six footer to go. So maybe in the back of her head thinks this whole Ozer one. Well, this is a must now, I feel. 
Now or never moment for the number one player in the world. It's too bad. You know she heard that roar behind her just across the pond on the 15th green. Let's go over to 18. A moment ago for birdie, MJ Her to get to seven under. Great showing here, out of 68. We had never finished better than tied for 25th at a U.S. Women's Open. She's three shots off the lead. Winning it is seemingly out of the question, but what a good yes. showing here in New Jersey and now here at 15, Edge and Choi. 265 oh. yards, pin 223 to the front, three wood well in range for Just doesn't want to overdraw it because it kicks into the left-hand bunker. Julie on the first hole, she elected to hit that aggressive second shot. She tried to do it here. It's a thick rough, but a good angle. Looks like she could have reached the green. Like the way you always put a positive there, Brad. Good angle, even though she's in a bunch of rough. That's like you, Julie. Well, the 17-year-old will have to pitch that over the bunker down the hill to make a birdie to tie for the lead. Here's Park at 16, our leader. This has to be the most nerve-wracking shot she's ever hit in her life. Hold up. Oh, and she just clears the water. One shot ahead. That's a shot I want, a full shot. I don't want to hit any little shot in there. I want to go ahead and rip it. I agree, Julie. Now Fung's third shot to 15. From 126, not a bad angle. You've got to sort of feed it in from the left of the pin. So from the right of the pin. She's done it. Take a shot. She likes to draw those irons in. And it's worth noting that as the leaders, and in particular now one leader, Sung Hyun Park plays the 16th. Those are the names on the left that will take you the rest of the way uninterrupted. And it seems like we're headed for a thrilling finish here at this great venue in Bedminster, New Jersey. Tom Fazio design in its 14th year on a piece of property that was once owned by John DeLorean. Now, Amy Yang at 16. Beautiful. Boy, that's what can happen. A lot harder to do when you got a chance to win this championship. Now, this is a great view of what Choi's third shot looks like. Looks like a terrible ride, Kimber. It just settled down, yeah, and it's quite thick, dense, rough as well. So she put you know, no spin on it. And the green sloping away from to her left, it'd be like sort of chipping down a black one. This is really, really going to run when it hits the green. And she can't be too sort of casual with it. You've got to be firm with it, otherwise, you could pop it in the bunker in front of herself. You've got to give it a good hit. You get plenty of flight. This is where I just try to pick a little spot out. You know, if I was her, maybe. See, he's trying to do that right there. He's trying to pick a, where are you going to hit it? Aim right at the camera tower. Julie, do you ever think she's played rough this thick in her life? You know, over in Korea, they don't they don't have rough like this. They have that kind of uh, Bermuda stuff that sits the ball sits down but does not nestle down like this. And the problem here is he's got to hit down on it hard, pop it up. It's bound to come out scampering. As I say, it's a really steep away from it, this bit of putting surface. Beautiful looking swing. 
playing this role out like a veteran. Incredible shot. Hedge and Choi leaves it below the hole. Looks like she's done that her whole life. Like you said, Julie, she had to have picked out a beautiful target there. Both arms extended after impact. That's like a full swing look right there. Well, you look at the amateur leaderboard, and Hedge and Choi is not worried about the amateur leaderboard. She's got that wrapped up. She's worried about the real leaderboard, where she trails by one. Still some good showings by those amateurs. Make the cut, that's a big thing for an amateur to be able to go ahead and make, make the cut. Well, Shen Shen Fung yeah, has opportunity right. here, Brad. About 13 or 14 feet. Look in the green book, Ken. But it's saying more right than that. Yeah. yeah, it's downhill. Once you get to the you cup, it really is downhill. With the ridge going right to left? Yeah. At least like four cups out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would get it out there with that pace. This is a pack you take maximum break and just try and top it in the front edge. I think once it starts turning, it's going to play a little bit down. Yeah, it, it will. It's going to be running with the grain. Okay. So you get this scampering at the cup, you could be a yard and a bit past, no problem at all. I think she's too cute for that. Julie, I think she likes right to lefters better here. Yeah, look how far her out. She said four cups, but she's looking like she's playing like three feet. Wait. Bad misread there on the easiest hole in the course. We'll have that putt for par now. Yeah, she hadn't buried that all week. It's like giving th two or three shots up to the field. Now to 16 and the birdie try for Sung Hyun Park. This putt is quite makeable. Right back up the hill, not a ton of break. There have been only four birdies today at this par 316. It's okay. Dangerous hole. She's going to get on over to 17 with a one shot lead. That's a good solid part, 16. Now Choi for a share of the lead. And a solid stroke. She keeps doing it, Julie. Just when you think she's not, she comes right back at you. I think she grew up thinking about women winning a U.S. Women's Open. Well, they televise it over there. Korea is big for LPGA golf, and they televise all the tournaments over there. So I'm sure she got up in the morning and turned it on. Right in the side door with the President of the United States watching. Beautiful putt. Now Fung, little tester. slider in there now she's one back park and Choi. I bet old Trump's in there just thrilled with the drama well, Brad you mentioned earlier in the week about wanting to put all the water on these last few holes to create drama he and Fazio got together the water is very much in play on each of the last three holes well, Tom Fazio said, Paul, that Donald wanted to have a lot of these holes be very difficult and a lot of water to finish, and he's done it. Look up here, that's the 18th green. Where you see right here, that's 18. There's the 16th tee. The president's right up there. Give you a look at these numbers in this graphic. The youngest to win a major. The youngest at the moment, Lydia Ko. Who did Hedge and Choi play practice round with this week? Lydia Ko. As she tries to do it at the age of 17, she won't turn 18 until the 23rd of August. And she's tied for the lead. Oh, 
this is only the third time a sitting president has been at a major championship, at a U.S. Open. 1918 was the first time. Bill Clinton sat in in 1998 at Congressional, maybe 97 at Congressional when Ernie Ellis won. And now, boy, I can tell you right now, if you put a heart rate monitor on Choi, somewhere between not changing a beat and through the roof. Julie, what do you think? Well, I would say not changing a beat. I've been very impressed with not only her golf play, but the way she's managed course management, her demeanor. From 139, does she go straight to the flag? She's got a seven iron in her hand, which is plenty of club. Water short, water right. She didn't waste any time. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Tragedy. Oh. She just went so fast. That's a stroke and distance penalty. It never cleared any part of land. The equivalent of going out of bounds. Actually, she does get the advantage of a ball, mark, uh, ball drop that's about 90 yards away, but boy. Now Fong. Does she go straight at it or just favor a little bit to the left? The green a bit deeper. What a great shot that is, considering what she just witnessed. She'll have that to get into a share of the lead. And Hedge and Choi is headed to the ball yeah. drop. Uh, good break that the ball drop is up there, Joe, but still now Park probably no idea that that's just happened behind her. So now co-leader Park at 17. Taking a three with players, all the players in this field can reach that pond on the right. You got to stay left. Perfect position for Park. She doesn't know yet what happened to Choi. She had to hear something back there. It's not like it's a long way away. I bet you she knows exactly what's happening. You see that ball drop there and all those divots. So you got to make sure you just don't drop it and pivot. Not a place many players would have practiced from. I saw one or two on the practice day having a, a swish from here. They probably aren't playing on the weekend. <laughs> well, she's got to get this up and down to only remain one shot back. She's got a par five that's going to be a wedge there at 18. 17, the hardest hole on the golf course. So anything can happen in front with Park, who hit a perfect tee shot at 17. 96 flag on six on this side, so about 102. It's quite a good angle. You've got to be careful you don't pitch it on the front and spin it back into the water. She's got a gap wedge. This is where you really got to just regroup. And it's so easy to think about what you just did, but you got to regroup and you got to hit this shot. This is a another tough shot. Yeah. Yeah. Right, she's got a chance to make a bogey. A moment ago here at 17, here's So Yun Yu for birdie. And a must make if she had any chance at all. She went hybrid in there to a pretty good shot. It was well back off the tee and effectively her chances of winning this U.S. Open are now gone. A little bit earlier here is Carlota Seganda for birdie at 18. Six under. Played well this week. Inside the top 10, her previous best finish was a tie for 39th. So she's gaining on it. 21st ranked player in the world, and we'll go back to the green at 16.
What a wonderful atmosphere there is around here. Big gallery sort of surrounding this green in the 18th. Suddenly, the drama's hotted up. The plot thickens. First of all, putt will be fun. Was right in the centre of the green. The slope from the left for her. And can she just find that little one? That one just holds absolutely nothing of any consequence. A couple of six footers, and that's about it over the last 36 holes. She's got kind of a, an unusual move with her putter, Ken. You're one of the greatest putters to play. You've written a book about putting. She kind of picks it up and pops down across just a little bit. Yeah, a little ioki ish, isn't it? She just chops down it. Seems to be very effective for the long ones, but occasionally, as you say, she just chops across the shorter ones a fraction. The garden. <laughs> well, a window of opportunities opened up for her here. Not making putts, it's hard to get the right speed. You just kind of feel like you want to you know, nurse it up there, gimp it up there somehow. And, uh, you know, this range is the range, and even a little bit closer than this, she's had a bunch of chances. Here's another, probably none more as important as this right now. And the speed is off. Not making putts, you don't want to leave yourself a second putt. Good steady par. She's still one shot back. Now Park second here on 17. 146. She has an eight iron here, a little bit into the wind. It's probably just a little eight iron because you just don't want to go long here. There's only been three birdies here all day That's long. <laughs> Might be four. What a shot. That ball was so straight. <laughs> Stopped on a dime. Five feet for Birdie to take the lead. Now this for Bogey for Hedge and Choi. It's a must, Joe. What a shame. What a performance she's put on. Just looks like it's slipped between her fingers here at 16. Just felt like this was a hole you have to get past. She wasn't able to do it. Take a minute time. This one, low, low sun, sometimes you can see a few imperfections on the greens, but I don't think there are many on these. So a double at 16 for Hedge and Choi. Now eight under, two back. And when they described this golf course leading into this championship, they talked about 16 and all the action at the tee. The clubhouse is right there. The president is sitting right there. We talked about Hedge and Choi rushing it a bit with this tee shot at the par three. Hit it into the water, makes double, trails by two. This is Christy Kerr for birdie at 18. And just nothing went her way today. She needed to get off to a hot start. It didn't happen. And uh, I think when you want to win so badly and you've won this championship before you get off to a poor start, you start to press a little bit. And this is a hard course to press on. Yeah, it really is. The holes have been put in tough spots all day long today. It's a hard course to shoot a great score. Well, let's take a look at this treacherous 17th hole, 403 yards, partially blind tee shot. Players want to hit it over that bunker, which is not in play. That carry there is only 200 yards. But you got to avoid the pond no matter what your route. If you can keep it to the left of the water, it gives you a decent approach. You just saw Park hit it close to five feet there. 
This whole location today, well back. 29 paces from the front edge, seven from the left edge. And that bunker, that beautiful bunker short, Fazio created that deception bunker. The players can't see the bottom of the flag stick. This green will be surrounded with people right now. It's the hardest hole in the golf course. Yeah, you think a little in right to left. Fun with driver. Yes, you see some delightful ones down here. The opening three days, cut the fairway in two. Water right, fairway about 33 yards wide, which tends to tip the ball towards the water. With her little draw, she sort of holds it into the slope of the fairway. Close, but in the short cut of the rough there. Now up at the green. Park for her birdie for the to go two shots ahead. I have not seen her look at a leaderboard yet, but the only thing that I've seen change is David, as you can see, has been reading cuts with her the last few holes. better spot to putt from. This is for a two-shot lead going into 18. It's a nice little cushion. And Park with birdie on the most difficult hole on the golf course today, the only the fourth birdie takes a two-shot lead going to the par 5 18th. Better get this ball. And on the tee while she was putting, Hedgen Choi with her driver. Just spanks it down there. <laughs> Only in New Jersey. One fatal error on the range. Oh. That was a high drama 18 pole last year. Not going to see anybody going for it in two today. 50 yards longer than it we was yesterday. Makes the 18th unreachable. 74 74 last year on Saturday and Sunday. As you see, just her second. U.S. Women's Open, and there she is after a tie for third place finish last year, leading by two. And now, with all of her length, standing on the tee in a par five. Well, as I say, I don't think anybody's going to have any hope of getting there in two today. This tee shot's almost just pedestrian now. There's a couple bunkers out there you need to avoid if you can, and. Just try to lay it up into the middle of that fairway. Let's go. Yeah. That's a beauty. She has 12 birdies over her last 26 holes to grab this two stroke lead. 57. 57, 16. Mm -hmm. And we're going to play a new lead. No, not with this line. Like six, six, nine. Like six, nine? Okay. Should release a little, right? Oh, absolutely, it's going to release. And it should cut the little and release. Okay. How many is from the left or right? Seven from the left. Okay. One, six, seven to the flag. Six iron going to come out a bit flat. Not easy to get the pin back to the, sorry, the ball back to the flag. If you go long, it sort of tipples off the back left of the green. It's bound to come out a bit hot. Ball well below her feet. It's 
set. Lower penetrating ball flight. Good shot. Leaves herself in pretty good position just off the bat. Now Troy's second. Oh, she's in such a good spot here, boys and girls. One, three, three. Nine, nine. You can just chop it into the breeze. 12 yards past Parks Drive. Whole high iron to get her back to nine under par. We'll welcome you inside our booth, Sung Hyun Park. It's been a tour de force and has a chance with a birdie at the 18th, although she may not need it, obviously, to tie for the low round of the day with all this pressure. I mean, it has been impressive to watch from the beginning. Absolutely, and she's utilized her power, which is her strength, and uh, she's hit all the fairways, which she needed to do today. And I, I just feel like coming off the heartbreak, from last year, Joe, where she had a chance to win this championship and let it get away. It reminds me a little bit of what Dustin Johnson did, although Dustin's heartache was a lot more for him to come back the following year to win. Shows a lot of moxie, and I think Park, who's never won on this tour, Julie, and you played with her last week or a couple weeks ago. Did you see anything that... that uh yeah, I saw that she could pretty much win every week if she if she wanted to. She's just got a lot of talent, and, you know, you can't put a price on, on length and power. Uh, she's really come out here and taken this championship away. I mean, she's five under going into the 18th hole. She has definitely won this tournament. Shen Shen and um, Hei Jung, she played, they played good. They played, but they needed yeah. to play great to beat um, Park this week. Yeah, they needed a few more putts. Uh, so far today, it looks like Park's the only one that's been able to make any putts when it mattered most, and she made a few pressure putts. Just hit it really unbelievably well. I think the only thing that, you know, is her disposition is just when she doesn't play well, she gets down, but she's 21. She's going to learn, you know, that keep that head up all the time. She's well, got such we, a great swing. We commented on her disposition throughout the front nine. She looked almost like she was in a trance out there, just in some kind of mental zone where she seemed unflappable. Uh, her her uh, facial expressions haven't changed all day. And you know, her heart's got to be beating a million miles a minute. She's got to hit a good layup and clear the water on 18. A fun second shot here on 17. There's just a little slope on the back left. It just drifts the ball away, which makes this back pin. Left your right. Yeah, tricky sure, to get right. it. Okay. Also, not too bad. The is sort of verdant green. A little bit spiky behind the ball. Of course, I had third shot, Ken. She didn't drive it right here. Hey, yeah, please. This is awkward where you land. If you pop it in the air, it's going to stick in the bank. Oh, World go. class. World class. It really was a super shot. Yeah, could have done a bunch of things if you didn't do it right, and that's a beautiful touch there by Fung. Now here at the par 5 18th, So Young Yu for birdie. Well, she had her chances today. Just wasn't meant to be. It's too many others on that scorecard. Yep. Par for Fung at 17. Now Choi, putt for birdie. Well, you done there, the par five to come. I don't think she can reach the par five and two. But she won't have written herself off quite yet. Big swing from right to left, but quite an inviting looking putt for a right hander. Weep it up to the right and let it come into the cup. And she'll be thinking of only one thing here. This has got to find the bottom of the cup. We must give it a chance. Get in the hole! Beautiful putt by Choi. On a break around the hole, like Ken Brown said. The incredible performance of the 17 year old Korean as she walks to her final hole. 
has to hold her head high. Unbelievable, really. Now here at 18, second shot for the leader, Sung Hyun Park. The key here is to give yourself a great yardage for your third. Let's do the math on this shot. So you have it right on the next one. From the 36 hole leader a year ago to a 74 74 finish and just out of the playoff. To this year she was seven shots back after 36 holes and if she pars this 18th she'll have a weekend of 67 67 in her first major most likely up at the green here's Miriam Lee. She made a little run up that leaderboard early on today. And not enough of those went in a couple mistakes in the middle of the round. Cost her a chance at this championship. <laughs> See the world number one, So Yun Yu. She's right there. We showed you her finish. That'll be her eighth top 10 finish in a major in her last 11 major starts. And now here at 18, stand, Chen Chen Fung. Chen's going to have to go for plan C here at 18. Yeah. Plan A, she told us yesterday, was to play kind of safe and conservative. Plan B was to try to hit it closer. And plan C was to try to hold it from the fairway. And that's really going to be her only chance, unless Park does something unforeseen. She's found the left rough for the third day in a row, amazingly. Yeah. Now, this is with no holding back here. Such a little person hit it so sweetly and so far. Okay. And can't find the fairway here at 18. There is still water involved for the upcoming third shot from our leader Park. But up ahead, it'll be Amy Yang first, too. For the first straight year, was in the top four after 54 holes. And again, yeah. is going to be disappointed with the way she played on Sunday in a U.S. Women's Open. Yeah, she needed to get off to a good start, Joe. The last three chances she's had to win going to Sunday, she got off to a poor start, which she did again today, two over after five. This is as silky, as smooth a swing as you'll ever see. Sometimes you have to have that silkiness between the ears, too. You're right. Have a little firepower in you. You can see the danger all around this hole. All the banks are shaved. I suppose you could come up short and it could hang. We saw a couple balls earlier today stay up that came up short. You see the danger past the hole here. Now part our leader. 108 yards. You listen to David, he's telling her all the places. 90 front, 96 pin. On that line. She needs to be at. We're looking at a target about 100 yards just left of it, putting the natural slope of this 18th green just travel down towards the hole. She's never won a tournament. She certainly never won a championship. On this tour at this level, I don't care who you are, she's feeling her pulse in her fingertips right now. 96 is only 10, 90. David Jones, her caddy, she needs to find grass on this third shot. Go as far down the hill as it could have. It had a load of spin on it. 
That has to be adrenaline right there. Oh, yeah. She's been spot on with her wedges all day long as far as distance control. Not over yet. She navigated the water. She did find grass, but over the green, and what little hope Shin Shen Fung had. Well, the hope brightens just a little bit with that third shot from Park. Although the lead is two. And, uh, you know, this is a nervy little shot that's going to be directly into the green. She may want to putt it. This is where you find out what you're made of. Hardest thing in the world to do is to close it out for the first time, especially a championship of this magnitude. She's 23. She's ranked 11th in the world. Turned pro in 2012. And as we said earlier, in just her second U.S. Women's Open. Tied for third last year at Court of All. And she leads by two over the green here on 18. Now the second shot for Shen Shen Fong. All important that she puts this in the fairway. Very fortunate she's in this very light color rough. So, relatively easy layup as long as you're not too greedy. It narrows up the further you get up there. Looking for a perfect third shot yardage. Okay. Ideal. Yep. That's all those divots. Okay. She's going to likely get to watch what Park does right there in front of her. Park will be next to play. She's got that shadow to deal with. Like I said, it's uphill into the grain. And when she gets on that green, everything runs right towards the lake. Julie won this championship two times, and uh, Tom Watson said he didn't learn how to win until he learned how to control his heart rate. He did that with his breathing. Well, you know, I, I would say she she hit probably hit the shot she wanted. She just peered it, but uh, you know she needs to just regroup here. It's not the most difficult shot, but when you're trying to win a U.S. Open, it amps up about a hundred percent. Well, this is uh, either going to use the bounce or the leading edge. The leading edge can be fatal into the grain. This is delicate. Fourth shot. Oh. That is some kind of special. Brilliant. A tap in for par at the last for Sung Hyun Park. I'll tell you, my palms are sweating watching this. I just know what it is going to mean for her. And to be able to hit that shot, that situation, this was leading edge all the way. You see the divot. If she goes for the bounce, there's no divot. And the divot comes out. Because it's into the grain, bump and run, one hopper. A little smile there. We haven't seen many of those today. a combination of power and finesse. Park has the power, and she's proved now. There's the leading edge, Pena visit. No follow through at all. She's got the power and proof right there, Julie. Under the toughest of circumstances, she's also got the finesse. Now Amy Yang, birdie putt at 18. Three over for this round. 
five under for the championship. So if Sung Hyun Park taps this in for par, she would force Shen Shen Fung to make it from out in the fairway on her third shot here on the par five. She's done that. What a round of 67 today. And she finishes here this week what she couldn't a year ago. What a player and what a future. David Jones there to guide her through and. This 23-year-old with the length, with that beautiful swing. Who knows what that resume will look like as she makes her way through her career. Now, Hedge and Choi, third shot at 18. <coughs> okay. She's deciding what line she wants to land on from 125. Pitching wedge. It goes sort of cozy in from just left of the flag. For Choi, she only made one bad swing. The final 36 holes came at the worst possible time. Now, Fung, one last chance. She's got to hold this to tie. Also, gap bridge, 114 yards. Good angle for this. She's got a little bit more landing air over the water. And she's been pretty mustered with her short hands and wedges. has won the U.S. Women's Open. A round of 67 today. And there's your champion for 2017. Well, she earned it. 67, 67 on the weekend. That's going to get you a few trophies. It sure is, Julie. She utilized her strength and her power. She was accurate off the tee. She made the putts when she had to, but that shot on 18 from over the green is just off the charts yeah. impressive. All the trouble around there. Trump. Just two thumbs up from the President of the United States. Talked about it yesterday, President Trump, who has made a heavy investment in the game of golf, 18 worldwide. Worldwide Golf Properties and 19th on the way with Phil Mickelson. It's a big bet you're making on golf and golf courses, especially in a down economy. It's a heavy contribution. Shen Shen Fung led after the first round, the second round, the third round, had a one shot lead coming into today. Played well. You know, she's going to be disappointed, but. If you were probably to interview her afterwards, she's going to be this, have the same demeanor. Yeah, you're right, Julie. She knows what she needed to do different to win this championship. She doesn't have a lot of power. She needs to make putts. She was the ball striker of the week for the most part, tee to green. And you, you just know you cannot win a championship with just your ball striking. You have to make putts. And uh, if she wasn't able to make anything really over about seven or eight feet uh, the last two days at all. She was money on her par putts, but just could not get those. And yesterday, she had probably five chances to really put some uh, distance between her and the field. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Only two birdies on the weekend. Interesting. She didn't fly, and she played a tournament in China last week and didn't get here to Tuesday. So maybe, I don't know, she got a little bit to jet lag, leg weary. She was back in her homeland where she has a golf academy. 
she likes to pitch the ball, which is to use the bounce and get the ball to go up in the air more and see if she plays this differently than Park played it a minute ago. Yeah, that's what Park could have done but did not do. I think when you have a chance to win a, a championship as big as this, you're going to lose a little bit of your focus when you realize it's over. And we could have a reversal in the second place position behind Park. And this, is, this is a big money tournament for the LPGA. It's our biggest purse, and if you can't win the trophy, you'd like to win some cash. But it mm -hmm. is, I mean, it's when you feel it, when you realize you haven't won the tournament, there's a big letdown. And she went for it, tried to hold it on her third shot. Like she got on in between, caught in between techniques there, Julie, like she wanted to pitch it, but into the grain, a little chunky. Let's get this ball back in your stance. One hop it off that collar if you can. Yeah, settle down. Rather anticlimactic finish here at the end. There's a look at the 16th, the par three where it came undone for Hedge and Choi. She knocked it in the water, made double, and at that point fell out of what was a tie for the lead. That's not the last we're going to see of Hedge and Choi, though. Well, you got that right. She really has no fear of missing left the way she swings that golf club. And she's got all kinds of power, only 17 years old. She's got power. She's got finesse around the green. She's a great putter. Won't be the last we see of her. I'm from Sung Hyun Park. Come on, Chin Chin. Make this putt. Seven time champion on the LPGA Tour. She's won a major championship. She knew what this was all about today. And she really uh, was terrific. I felt tee to green, Julie. She had plenty of chances from this range, even a little bit closer, just wasn't able to capitalize. These greens have been immaculate, had a lot of water and rain hit this golf course earlier on in the week, but as Trump National has dried out, these greens have quickened. As I said earlier, she only really hit one bad shot, Joe, the entire weekend, and it came at the worst possible time on 16. And now it looks like she's got two putts to finish second all by herself. That was her only double. But she can play. Yeah, she can. A one under round of 71 today, and Hengen Choi will finish second all alone. Best amateur finish since Lang and Pressel in 2005. Is it a little back up, if anything? Yeah, second. it is a little bit back up. And now Fung for double at 18. to get into a tie behind Park and Choi. Yeah, now for triple bogey here at well, 18. Right 
Just tell you what, that just really reiterates what a great shot our champion part hit. And what could have happened from over the green, Joe, in three. Instead, Park gets up and down, and Fong is going to walk out of here with triple bogey. She entered the 18th hole all alone in second place. This gets her tied for fifth. There's the low amateur and second place finisher, Hedgen Choi. Just a fantastic showing here this week by the 17 year old amateur. Just felt like on 16, she just rushed that shot a little bit, Joe, and it really cost her. She only lost by two. Completely different outcome if you could have put that ball on the green there at 16. It's only 139 yards today, but it didn't happen. And Park with the clutch of all clutch chip shots from behind the green at 18 is fun. Just illustrated what could have happened down there. What an achievement for Park. First ever win. Couldn't have been a bigger win. And really, from the first tee on, she was impressive. She just drove the ball beautifully. Hit a lot of crisp, short irons. There's your champion, Sung Hyun Park. Finished with a round of 67 today, 67 yesterday, 11 under for the championship, and a win by two over the amateur, Hedgen Choi, who came over here hoping just to make the cut. Then, after she made the cut, hoping to finish in the top 10, she ends up in second all alone. An impressive showing from a young player we will hear a lot from going forward, no doubt about that. As you look at the leaderboard for the final time today, it's Sung Hyun Park. Rough start on Thursday, shot 73, followed that up with 70 on Friday, and then 67, 67, and that length really benefited her this week at a difficult test here at the old course at Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster, New Jersey. Yep, and all three U.S. Open championships that we've covered been inundated with rain this year, Joe. But this course probably drained the best and dried out the most and was probably the most difficult going into the weekend in spite of all the rain. You can't, you can't beat the best players unless it's windy. Rain, rain just when you soften up a golf course, they pick a place apart. A golf course is harder than the scores indicated there, but uh, we got a great champion, a worthy champion. And watch this shot. This is the one that did it. A one hopper. Almost made it. Tapped it in for par. Wins by two. Sung Hyun Park.